Camtech Gwalior is a multidisciplinary centralized training center under the Ministry of Railways. This center develops technical publications and manuals on various railway assets and provides training through seminars and webinars, thereby assisting the maintenance team in improving the reliability and efficiency of the system. This video series on the maintenance of assets of 132 kV to 27 kV conventional railway traction substation will be useful for field engineers to understand the correct maintenance practices to keep the assets healthy and functioning. This video is related to the maintenance and testing of potential transformers provided in railway traction substations. Normally in TSS, 132 kVPTs are used only in the ABT metering system but in some of the TSS, 132 kVPTs are provided between the CB and TR for voltage indication. 25 kVPT is provided on the gantry, feeder circuit and capacitor bank circuit of the secondary side of single phase power transformer to sense or measure the voltage for the meters and protective and indication devices line. These potential transformers are available in various ratios. Maintenance of Potential Transformer The periodic maintenance of the potential transformer is carried out in quarterly, half-yearly and annually. Quarterly Schedule in the quarterly schedule perform activities like checking the surface of the porcelain insulator, the terminal connector for overheating or rusting, checking the oil level in the bushing, fuse, and neutral link for overheating, and earthing connections, etc. Half yearly schedule in the half-yearly schedule perform activities like measuring the insulation resistance value and thermography etc. in addition quarterly schedule activities. Annually schedule In annually schedule performs activities like checking the earth connections and ratio test etc. in addition to half-yearly and quarterly schedule activities. Safety precautions before maintenance For the safety of equipment and personnel, ensure that switch off the power supply by the opening circuit breaker and isolation to be done by opening isolators and then provide discharge rods at both ends of PT under maintenance and discharge the residual charges. After this, open the connection of the HV terminal of PT and also ensure the use of personal protective equipment for safety such as electrical grade shoes, helmets, etc. There are many activities that have to be performed during maintenance. Check the oil level in the indicator and top up the oil in the bushing if required. Also, check for any oil leakage from PT and rectify the leakage if any. Check the surface of porcelain bushing for any damages, flash marks, or chipping of insulators. Clean all the bushing insulators thoroughly with a dry cotton cloth. Check the connections and their tightness including earthing connections. Paint the top and bottom metallic portion except for connection terminals if the color is faded or rusted. Testing of PT As per the maintenance schedule, these tests shall be performed at regular intervals mentioned in this table. Precautions before testing While performing the tests following precautions shall be ensured. Insulation resistance test The main objective of this test is to know the condition of the insulation of windings of PT. This is a DC voltage injection test method and for this test, we require a 500 volt and 2.5 kV insulation tester. Open the connections of the HV side and remove the earth link from the LV side. Steps for testing Here we are conducting a test for HV earthing. Now connect the line and earth terminal of the tester to the HV terminal and equipment earthing through leads respectively. 
After that check all the connections and select the test voltage level to 2.5 kV. Now, as we press the test button, a DC voltage is applied across the HV terminal and earth terminal, which causes the flow of earth leakage current in the test circuit. This leakage current is measured by the tester and calculates the insulation resistance value by ratio of applied voltage and the measured leakage current. Record the displayed value of IR in mega ohms and compare the value with the earlier record or OEM recommendations. If found less, investigate the issue and rectify it. The same test to be conducted for the combination of windings as shown in this table. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Ratio test The ratio test is used to confirm that the ratio is consistent with the designed ratio as shown on the nameplate of PT. This test may be conducted by either turn ratio kit or primary injection kit, variac, and multimeter. Open the connections and remove earth link from LV side. Voltage Ratio Test by Auto Ratio Test Kit Voltage Injection Method Connect the primary injection leads of the test kit to both primary terminals and connect the earth terminal of test kit to PT earthing. Now connect the secondary leads to secondary winding terminals. After that, check all the connections and connect the single phase 230 volt AC supply to the test kit. Now apply the test voltage across the primary terminals and the kit measures the induced voltage in the secondary winding and the kit calculates the ratio and percentage error of the PT. Record the displayed value and compare the values with the designed ratio. If found beyond the permissible limits, take corrective actions. Voltage Ratio Test by Primary Injection Test Kit Voltage Injection Method this test method is generally followed at sites on railways. Steps for testing Connect the AC voltmeter at both terminals of the secondary winding. Then connect the output terminal of variac to both primary terminals and connect the AC voltmeter across the variac. After that, check all the connections and connect the single phase 230 volt AC supply to the test kit. Now apply the test voltage across the primary terminals and check the induced voltage in secondary winding by voltmeter and calculate the ratio and percentage error of the PT with the help of formulas. Record the ratio error. If found beyond the permissible limits, take corrective actions. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Thermography Thermography is used to predict or identify defects and to rectify the same by carrying out preventive maintenance before in-service failure of equipment. Since analysis is based on the relative temperature of subcomponents instead of ambient temperature, therefore, images of the complete assembly should be taken. Checking should be carried out at the night time and the concerned component shall be under load. Limit for temperature variation and duration for rectification of issue is given in the table. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference.